Yeah, one love, this is Busy Bone, formerly of Bone Thugs and Harmony Steel, my niggas. Gotta give a shout out to Andre Seeger. Hey man, I'm doing good, man. Same old thing, man. Just put together a nice show. You know, I wanted the sounds to be just a tad notch different, but you know, I think we did a good job. The people enjoyed it. Everything is cool. We came in, we had a good time. Here, you know, I wanted to really give them a performance, show them the, I'm saying these words. I'm bringing it forth in the right way. Bust a sweat, know that I'm working. Yeah? I really think that a lot of people in hip hop give these new young brothers a hard time. But it's like they turning into the old dudes. You know what I mean? That's hating on the young dudes. And you can't do that, man. You gotta give these young dudes an opportunity in order to rise. So a nigga got his skinny jeans on, my nigga do your thing. You know what I mean? A nigga using auto tunes, my nigga do your thing, man. Do what it is, man, and make hip hop grow. You know, it start from great dancing and spray painting on the wall and different things of that nature, but it progresses. It could not stay the same. It has to move. It has to evolve. So, you know, I love everything about it, man. We took one-way bus tickets to L.A. first, and that's how we met Easy at Levert's. May God rest Gerald Levert and Sean Levert's soul. And then from that point on, we was off and running, man. And when I say off and running, I mean off and running. It was just a beautiful thing. Oh, well, you know, I live out there now. You know, that's where the, that's where the business is right now. So it's such a beautiful thing to, to, to be in Cali. And then, you know what I mean, at the same time, enjoy it because you're coming from another place. It's beautiful, man. I love the East Coast, Midwest. You know, that's where we from. So it's good to come up here to the MI, Mount Clemens, all that good shit. Just beautiful, man. It's, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. Then my dudes, my homeboy, much love out to all my people out there. Oh, Cat Stacks, you're killing them out there. Boo-boo, you do your thing. How you some fun, sweetheart? And so on and so forth. Everything just lovely. You know, I love everything about hip-hop right now. I'm really not caught into the, to the hoopla so I can say what's up to everybody. And it's all love, you know? Yeah, that the weed shit? Yeah, that's the legalization of marijuana. Well, one, one ounce possession over the age of 21 years well, old. Well, as long as you got a weed card, and you know you nausea, you need to get food, you're stressing. Instead of taking Prozac and different things of that nature, when you get past 18, you still have that opportunity. You know what I mean? They're going to regulate it slowly, 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 and then eventually, if the world's still standing after 2012, you dig? Eventually they're going to realize that it's a multi-billion, zillion dollar business, and money talk bullshit run a marathon. Kiddo, I'm like this, man. It's like, you know, what happened, happened, but I definitely believe in the shifts of the tide. So, you know, it's something that not only we, we think about, but we counting on it. You know what I mean? For a better day. Not only for the rest of the world, but, you know, just personal. So, it's something we hold, I hold near and dear to my heart. But Bone always been like that. East 1999, Eternal in 95. So, we apocalyptic Armageddon-ass rappers anyway.